Hi everyone, this is Andrew Contrino with Green Power Energy, and today I'm going to discuss net metering. Net metering is a billing mechanism which allows solar customers to pay the net of their energy usage every month. The net being the difference between how much solar power is put into the grid versus how much energy is pulled from the grid. Let's say for example, it's a nice sunny day, you're at work, the kids are at school, and the solar array is cranking. In that case, you're likely going to be putting power into the grid. Now that same day, everybody's at home around the dinner table, all the lights are on, TV is on, you're going to be pulling from the grid, but you're not going to pay for that power until you've pulled more from the grid than you've put in. There's gonna be a new line item on your bill that reads kilowatt hours in and kilowatt hours out. If you have a bank of extra kilowatt hours, meaning you put more into the grid than you pulled from the grid, you won't have a bill that month for electric usage. You may have a service fee or something along those lines, but you'll have a credit that's gonna roll over to the next month. Now these credits will move over month to month until once a year, there'll be a true up event. We recommend our customers create their anniversary date or their true up event to be in March. Because March is the beginning of where solar irradiance starts to improve. We have March, April, May, June, where the solar rays producing a lot of energy, but you may not be using as much from air conditioning or from the pool pump. This is going to build up that bank that's gonna roll over month to month and hopefully carry you through the winter where you hopefully won't have a bill or won't have a big bill anyway. Now, a lot of people will call us and say, is this where we're, I'm going to get the credit, I'm gonna sell the credits to the grid? This is where I'm gonna sell all the credits. Uh, yes, but not exactly. This isn't the real money maker when it comes to solar. If you have an overage and after that anniversary date, the utility company is gonna pay you for that overage, it's going to be a very small amount, just pennies compared to the amount of money that you actually pay for the power from the grid. So that's a little bit about net metering. I hope that it was helpful for you. Please subscribe to our channel. And if you'd like more information on net metering and to get a solar quote for your own home or business, please visit our website today. Thank you.